Hello, everybody. My name is Gal Aviv, and I am the CEO of Blender Financial Technologies. We're a fintech company specialized in the buy now, pay later, and in car lending. We're active in Europe and in Israel. And lately, we became a public company in the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. We are sitting on the days of an early revolution. This revolution started with companies like Klarna in Sweden, Ratesetter in England, and today is picking up speed with the IPO of a firm in Nasdaq. So it is now traded in over $17 billion. This revolution is happening due to a few trends. The first trend is the cybersecurity that allow us to approve clients in an instant manner from a distance. The second one is the advanced usage of databases and the ability to rate customers on the fly. And the third and most important one is the move towards payments with our mobile devices. But there is something bigger than that. The change of generation, the hegemony of our generation, the X generation is dropping down and the Y and Z generation are picking up more and more influence. The Y and Z generations are looking for now and fast solutions. They don't want to stay in line. They don't want not completely tight product. They don't want to wait for a call center and who that doesn't have the best technology is out of the game. This generation has made GameStop to become a big traded company and admires Robinhood and Tesla. And this generation believes in mobile banking, payment apps and social networks. And maybe the most important thing is controlling on the cash flow. Control your cash flow is what people are looking up today. And up to a few years ago, the big lending companies like Lending Club and Prosper and the credit card companies in the US specialized in unsecured lending. But the clients understood that it's actually just increases the overdraft, increases the debt. And they're now looking for payment solutions that allows them to pay it with installments, with small installments over time for the big purchases. And to fit the income to the outcome in a good manner. The solutions come from the fintech companies because do we see ourselves using such solutions that come from a large bank or a credit card company? How can actually it happen that a bank that is like an institution that most of its income comes from lending changes lending model towards one that means that the client pays less, that takes less loans, that actually uses payments? It probably won't happen. The ones that leads these revolutions are fintech companies like Blender and others. But we need to remember something else. When you reach to the sell spot, when the client wants to buy the product, either it's in e-commerce or in the physical shop, the clients want to make the payment here and now. You don't have time. You have less than 30 seconds to approve the purchase. But you not only approve the purchase, you also approve the client. And the solution that the clients want is a PayPal-like. The purchases sometimes are for thousands of US dollars, like with, uh, with expensive cars, but sometimes they are on a few hundreds of dollars when you want to buy a new refrigerator. And the ability to connect to many different databases, to the Facebook, to the FBI, and to open and close database, to use big data technology, allows us to actually make this transaction, make this payment in an instant manner. Today, Blender technology is active in two of the most interesting channels in the world of finance. First is car lending, where we spread over hundreds of different car dealers and car yards. 
And the second is buy now, pay later solution that is active on hundreds of, actually thousands of spots, both in the online world, in e-commerce, and in the physical world, both in Europe and in Israel. We allow websites, e-commerce websites, that made their made the sales through credit and debit cards to sell bigger products using our buy now pay data solution that spread it to payments. And the same actually in physical shops that are looking and striving for a solution. Blender is active in Europe and in Israel. We manage over 35,000 paying clients and hundreds of thousands registered clients are part of our community. In Europe, we have branches in the Baltics, we soon opening Poland, and after that, the Czech Republic. But why Europe? Why to act actually in Central Europe? So first of all, the financial system in Central Europe is extremely advanced. And there is a lot of information about the client, but there are no credit cards. If you look at Poland, only 10% of the population got credit cards. And they don't have a true good tight solution to make payments. We're speaking on a market of over 70 million people that strives for new credit solutions that would be both social, but both well-stated well financial. As part of our journey, we are becoming a digital bank, Blender Bank, a fully digital, cross-European digital bank that allow us to do first our, our payment solutions, call lending solutions, but also allow us to have access to deposits, the cheapest source of capital. We'll acquire deposits from mostly Western Europe, France, Germany, Sweden, etc. And we use this cheap, com this, cheap uh, um, this cheap money actually to allow Central European countries to have better products in cheaper price with widespread of solutions. We're speaking about a pan-European activity under one single license that give us access to the best sources of capital in one hand and on the other, access to lending solutions and payment solutions all over the European market. Thank you very much here from Blender.